Prince Harry has a friend in Orlando Bloom. The Duke of Sussex made an appearance on Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast, where he recalled meeting his wife, Meghan Markle, in a supermarket, the times he felt most hopeless as a royal, and his very helpful friendship with Orlando Bloom. The 36-year-old revealed that his A-list neighbor will frequently reach out to warn each other about paparazzi lurking nearby their homes in Montecito, California. Just, what, two days ago, Orlando Bloom sent me a message because he's down the road and we sort of keep in contact because of the paparazzi. Yeah. Prince Harry explained that the Pirates of the Caribbean star sent over a photo of a man with a, quote, massive camera lying in the back of his 4x4 truck. He sent me a photograph, which his security got, of this long-haired guy with a beanie on with his earpods in, with his massive camera lying in the back of his 4x4 truck blacked out windows, a woman driving, who she likes the sort of the peace sign where she's sitting there as a distraction. Oh, and he's geez. laid down in the back of this truck, taking photographs of them out with their kid. Yeah. Uh, and whoever else is in that area. Yeah. How is that normal? How is well, that acceptable? It's really no surprise that two look out for one another. Prince Harry has had a long battle fighting off the press. He even told Dax Shepard and his co-host and producer, Monica Padman, that paparazzi recently photographed his son Archie on his first day of school, which of course, the prince was not pleased about. Like, these kids don't get a choice, they don't get a say in it. Mm -mm. And if it becomes any worse, then what you're basically accepting is, okay, fine, so anyone with a talent. Any yeah. yeah, let's any let's criminalize, yeah, yeah, let's, let's punish let's, everyone. Let's punish people who've got a talent and have driven <laughs> and, have, and have literally <laughs> worked their asses off yeah. to get to a point where, yes, they're making money and yes, their fans are contributing to that. Yeah, yeah. But they're bringing entertainment and value to society, whether it's through movies, whether it's through music or whatever. Yeah. So if you continue to chase them and their kids, you're probably going to not just <laughs> stop them from wanting to go to work. You're certainly going to put their kids off ever wanting to so it's, it kind of is self-defeating. It's a weird one.